Welcome back to GDPG. Hey. We are playing Chroma Squad for those of you just joining us. More Chroma Squad. Although, More. Who really Chroma joins Squad. in at like part two of a Let's Play series? You never know, man. Maybe someone's like, oh. I guess that's fair. I feel, I personally feel super awkward whenever I do that. I'm just like, ah, I'm just going to go back. Well, I'm sure if someone like came in, maybe they clicked on the video on accident and they're like, oh, this is episode two. Maybe I should go back to episode one. That's fair. That big guy is so cute. I want to watch more of him. And Dude, that's right. What that's why I watch like, GPG. Yeah, I mean, so I adorable. only watch the ones with Gary. Yeah. I mean, you got to watch the only ones with me. My girlfriend. That's how she dates me, man. I'm just adorable. <laughs> adorable. Uh, all right. Let's jump back into this. All right. They talked about how they could start their own studio and record their first episode. After a few minutes, an idea popped up. I'll let you be the Blue Ranger. Oh, dang. My uncle is aware of is not far from here. We could use it. Because he's the smart one. Yeah, you know? he's the smart one. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> All right, that could be a start. <laughs> All right. I'll take the L. It might just be what we need. Let's go there now. Oh, man, I wanted to be the Black Ranger, but he didn't say anything in that part. Yeah, yeah. I find it interesting, too, that they give us the cursor during uh, these moments. Yeah, it's very interesting. Arriving at the warehouse, everyone gets very excited because of its size. Don't they know it's not the size that counts? It's the production. <laughs> it's how quality. you use it. <laughs> That's how it works, right? <laughs> and how they could take advantage of all that available space. They were looking around and thinking about camera positions. Aw, uh, yeah. I would not put a camera on these, though. <laughs> no. It looks super dangerous. <laughs> when someone spotted something. A huge pillar at the very center of the <gasps> warehouse, covered in some sort of dirty bed sheet. No one knew what was under it. I know what's under it. Probably. Where are those stunt actors? It's soap again. Oh, it's the director. It's the director, yep. Uh, what was my voice for him? There they are. There they are. They need to return my studio spandex suits. Kind of getting Sean Connery <laughs> on him. Right. <laughs> but wait, what's that? I'll just keep watching. Then Curiosity knocked at someone's door and the sheet was removed. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Amazing! An incredible repl replica of a device used in an American Hero TV series. <laughs> Someone plugged it in, the energy cable, and the machine said its welcome message out loud. Hello, my name is Cerebro. This is an example message. Sarah Bellis. Type the word and my back display and I shall text to speech them. <laughs> Everyone's eyes shined. Wow, let me have those clothes. I know... What I actually want from them now. I have a hard time reading his dialogue. Yeah. I'll think of some devious plan. I'm out. Oh, shit. Is he the villain? You'll see. <gasps> We're just looking for a place to set up our studio and record, but now we have to leave this Cerebro thing to support our story. It's amazing. I'll let you do it. I'll let you do it. Yes, this is it. Just ask your uncle for this, too. Our future fans will love it. Will do. <laughs> I think you'll be happy to lend us anything, including the warehouse. Hooray! Everyone gather your props at home and let's meet up tomorrow. <laughs> we have plenty of work to do. Onward! Onward and away! So I gotta say, I really do love the art of this game. Yes. It's a it's a very yes. good use of, like, modern 16-bit uh, pixel art. Yes. So the group of friends decide to take a different path in their lives. Yeah. Later that day, the clothes were returned to their old boss. Oh. And after a few weeks, with a contract ready to be signed... Whoa! They finally have everything ready to start recording. Yeah. Cerebro. New contract. So we, we conditions record season finale after recording four other episodes. The contract will be canceled if the number of fans is lower than zero. So it's not a linear game necessarily? It well, I guess it's sort of, but it's like... It kind of is. Like, oh, and now oh, we can whoa. name our studio. It's, so it's, I guess we probably want our keyboard for that. Yeah. It's, um, it's interesting because it's sort of like, um, it's like a, a simulation game. Yes. But it's a strategy game. Exactly. 
Um, there's a couple of things that we get to type in specifically for this game, and then they're really fun. Oh? Yes. You'll see. Okay, what should we name this? Hmm. Game Devs Fight. There you go. Uh, what Actually, we fight? no. That, we should save that for later. I think we should keep oh, Game Devs okay. Fight. Okay, okay. Um, should we just be GDP Incorporated? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. GPG is super creative. So now here we go. We have to customize our team. Here's what's interesting about this game. This is the only time you get to pick your characters. After this, these are who you have for the rest of the game. Oh, whoa. So you have to decide who you want. That's kind of um, cool, though, because yep. at least, like, they're not saying, like, you know, the Black Ranger is black. Well, the... yeah, I may have made mine Evan Tyson because he had more power. <laughs> oh, dude in a panda suit. Yep. I assume that's a panda suit. Gus Fun, Fun, Gus. Pandas are cute and lazy creatures who sleep all day unless someone tries to destroy their si the city. Okay. Oh, this is a Kickstarter backer. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Like, it's like, okay. It's a, it's a, so I guess this was a Kickstarter game, but that's that's kind of fun. Yeah. I just like the imagery of like a dude in a panda suit in a Power Ranger suit. Yeah, yeah just <laughs> suits on suits on suits. Okay, so they have a lot of different things. So they do. So Wesley Stripes, <laughs> Weasley Stripes is obviously Wesley Snipes, and there are they're a whole bunch of good ones. Uh, okay, so plus 10% health, plus 30% pistol damage. And so still, techies still use pistols. So if you see, they have all of what the lead, like they explain what each character is. Mm -hmm. Less movement, less attack, more audience. Ooh, that might be good for the leader. Um, because we want audience, right? Sword yes. damage. Oh, yeah. Mr. Beaver. Mr. Beaver. So, okay, what is, in your opinion, oh, so, uh, I guess, let me rephrase that. When you played the game, what was the stats that you prioritized? You know, well, for my lead, I looked more at, like, um... Actually, interestingly enough, I kept most of my guys the same except for my assault member. So I just was kind of like, let me just see what they set for me, and I just kind of threw that out there. Um... Ooh. So it really depends on what we want what we want to see done. I feel like audience participation is always a good thing to have. Mm. And it does become kind of an issue later on in the game. Um, because sometimes it's just like the, the, the goals for that for the episode are kind of tough. That's fair. And so sometimes it does ha help having So I'm thinking we'll make him our like main like uh I mean leader role, right? So yeah. I want to focus on team attack ability. Yeah. And we might as well make him one that has deals more damage. And he's got a panda suit, right? He's got a panda suit. This will be fun. Um, assault. So brings raw power and strength to your team strategy. This rule is responsible for dealing the greatest damage, exploding things, and wielding enormous axe. So he gets plus 30 attack, which is awesome. Awesome. Uh, he got plus health. We could even ooh, we could even choose one that gives you more health if we wow. want to like proper min max. Really want, and they do Michonne. They literally do a Walking Dead character. I know, which is which kind is, of awesome. Which is crazy. I do like robots. A Simo bot. I did not go through this very well. Crafting quality rate. I feel like that would be better for the techie. Um, wait, wait. What was that? Plus 10 health, plus 30 pistol damage. Experienced with sci-fi movies and cryogenics. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Should we go with... So I think it might not be a bad idea to either have someone that gives a better team attack or a better... Um, or who has a good um, audience participation. Audience participation Ooh, there are items. Yes. Passionate defender of technology, <laughs> Mr. Beaver. Mr. Beaver. I don't know, I kind of like that. He gives us more health and an item and drop got, rate. Yeah. And he's still going to be useful with yeah. uh, assisting. Okay, so then let's make you super attacky. So this gives you plus 20 attack. Uh, skill regen, eh. So I went with, um when I played this one, I went with the Mike Tyson guy. I think it's Evan Tyson. I don't know what they call him in this one. Oh? For uh, this guy? For the Black Ranger? Yeah, I went with Evan oh, Tyson. This guy? Yeah. Um, he had ooh, plus 30 attack, ooh, plus yeah, 40, yeah. yeah, I agree. He was just so good. His stats were so crazy good. Okay, so we've got the Agile Acrobat on the team, the dare, a daredevil warrior that brings movement and grace to the fight, specializes in moving fast and in stunning enemies. So she gets plus one movement. Yep. Um, I don't think... Uh, how are counterattacks in this game? You know, I... Like, they're pretty, they can be pretty good. Um, 
Oh, we got Michonne. Michonne may actually might act be a counter in health. That's not a bad option. Not a bad option. Oh, they all have a salary value too. Yes, all of them have oh. and it's taken away from. Yes, it's yeah. Oh, okay. That's it's interesting because it's kind of subtle, right? And we right now we don't actually know how that's going to be affecting, like affecting the game. Yeah. Also, mail. Yo, yeah, you'll be able to read it once oh. we pick our team. Interesting. Uh, you only get one movement, and your weapon attack is lame. I don't yeah. know if I want you. It depends, because like, like, the, the puzzle movement's nice, don't get me wrong. Like You can go almost everywhere. Because at one point, when I was playing, my character could literally almost go from one end of the field to the other end. That's pretty fantastic. I just don't know if I want to sacrifice damage for movement, you know? But I think that's the only one that gives us plus movement. Yeah. Uh, it's... All right, let's do it. All right, Oishi. Ryu Yoshi. Ryu Yoshi. A Ryu Yoshi. So this one is gain Jay skill beats. regen when you use any skill once per turn. This looks like the guy from IT Crowd. Oh, he kind of does. Maybe that's just because of his giant afro. He's a, he's a basketball star. He's actually oh, okay. a really fun character. Okay, so Techie, the team's most resourceful fighter combining the use of items, weapons with his superior intellect. Specializes in long-range combat through skill. Uh, basically gain skill regen when you are when you use a, any skill. Yep. Once per turn. So how do skills work? So basically after you use a skill, it goes into a cooldown mode for a while. Mm. And, um... <laughs> Shop discount. Nice. Yeah. So... Shop I, discount I, might not be bad. We haven't learned anything about skills yet, but I assume it's just sort of like a... It cools down based on number of actions taken? Yes, it cools down based okay. on number of actions, you know... Uh, let's see. Oh, that's minus health. Eh, plus of... 10 skill regen, though. And so he basically be able to pull Alien. Off. He would just be able to pull off skills left and right. That might not actually be bad. The other guy was plus 4 and was minus health. Oh, that's the guy who was originally the lead. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah let's, let's do the alien. Sure. Uh, assist, the dearest friend Scar. of everyone on the team. <laughs> Oh, that's her name. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's like her, like, um, her <laughs> actor name. Or her uh, character name. That's awesome. Yep. Um, always an optimist, holding the squad f together through the toughest moments, specializes in healing and bow attacks. So, oh, okay. Plus 20% skill regen heals when using teamwork. Dude, yeah. I... So we want someone that's using... So, okay, fan conversion rate is good. Skill regen. Actually, I think I might just keep her. Yeah, no, she's a good call. Cool. A very male dominant team here. <laughs> well, I mean, he doesn't necessarily oh, yeah. have a gender. We, we have a beaver. We have an alien. That's true. <laughs> Just a lot of like. Oh, mis and you can change the colors too if you want it, but I think the the gen the general color. I'm colorblind, so. Oh yeah, dumb to you. Although that is kind of nice. So say like I had a hard time differentiating between like red and uh, pink, right? At least they give me the option of changing yeah, now the if you color. you go to Studio, I think there's a way to update like what you... Studio options. So you can also oh. say like what you shout. So, is, so instead of saying like you can do your transformation <laughs> shout or your finishing move shout, so I think one of oh, those should man. be game dev power or whatever you're going to put down. Game Trans dev fight or whatever. Transformation. Oh yeah, that'd be gay. Oh yeah, and you can like literally... Game devs? Is this like the the well, when, when Megazord? They, no, this is when they transform from their normal person into their Power Ranger, into their Chroma Squad. Oh, Power. engage. And uh, let's see, transformation shout. Yep. So it'll be like um, when at, whenever they actually. Oh no, hold on. Oh, the transformation shout is what they say. So you want to make that game devs? Engage. Okay. So, what should our mecha name be? Ah. Uh, game Dev. Game De De Debo. Zord. <laughs> game, game Dev Zord. Game Dev Zord. <laughs> and, uh... So the transformation should probably be Game Devs Engage. Engage. And so the transformation... Make... Games. I don't know what it's go. gonna do, what but what uh, should our squad name be? Squad name should be um, Geek Area Squad. <laughs> should we call it, call it the Geek Squad? Geek Squad. <laughs> and, Actually, like, like that. and Best Buy will sue us. They'll be like, uh... perfect. 
Yeah, but you know the Geek Fest is a real thing, right? What? At Best Buy. What? Huh? what? What's, Best Buy? Yeah, what's Best Buy? Uh, so <laughs> th- th- this is our mecha shout. So wherever our mecha comes, what do we say? Uh, insert power now. <laughs> and then what's our finishing move? Chris is the best. <laughs> I was lying. That's good. Perfect. Okay, so guys, I think next time we can really get into. Well, hold on, um, hold on. Should we explore? What? How? What? Are, oh, we went yeah. way over. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll we'll poke around some of these yeah, other next options episode, definitely and poke uh, around get into more. some fights. So I think the big I'm question. Super excited about all yeah, of this. Yeah, right. I think the I think the question for the day should be. Uh, what? Yeah, 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 just little what are people you? just like. What are you? People just. That was like a, a cat. sushi cat, though. It was a sushi cat. Something maybe the question of the day should be something about the character selection, because this is the only chance you get to. Once you select these guys as it. That is actually a really interesting thing. You get a couple of members that fly in and out every so often, and you kind of get a choice on who you get for that, but... So, so do you think the question is, like, because this game is sort of like a simulation game, right? Yeah. Should you be able to, like, fire and hire new people? Right, and I don't know if you can, because, like, I've... I haven't seen that. Maybe you can, I've just been playing this all so, really wrong. Okay, well, operating off of all the information we've gotten yeah. so far, we don't actually know. And uh, so then maybe the question is, should you be able to fire and hire <laughs> new, actors. new actors? And uh, if you do, what are the benefits and what should the consequences be? Um, because, like, right now we don't actually know how it yeah. would work. And, uh, like, I really, it's a design question. Like, how would you design yeah. that if it were up to you? But that's good. And again, cool. guys, remember to vote. If you want to see more Chroma Squad or any other playthrough, and please feel free to vote for multiple things. Yes. Although, Go. vote for each thing individually once. Yes, like, yeah. Don't yeah. vote for Chroma Squad like 20 times, because I'll know something's up. <laughs> I'll yes, see exactly. it. Exactly. But just let us know what you want to play. We love to hear from you guys. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you for watching, everyone, and we hope to see you in the next episode. Peace. Bye-bye. So we're we'll going to mimic Mark.